Let's go. This is my dog Clovis. We got her from a Labrador rescue in Clovis, New Mexico. We live in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and are planning to hike the Northville Placid Trail in the Adirondack Park in upstate New York. We will begin our hike near Northville and walk 120 miles north over the course of 11 days to reach Lake Placid. We trained by hiking around the neighborhood with our packs on, but Clovis had never been backpacking, so I really didn't know how she would do on anything more than a day hike. You know, I think that uh, Clovis has no idea where she's going. She actually has no idea that she's going anywhere. I think Clovis actually will do quite well mm -hmm. because she has lots and lots of energy. Mm -hmm. So I don't think Clovis will have a hard time physically completing the task. Mm -hmm. Mentally, she may get a little tired. She may be a little stressed after traveling across the entire United States. We certainly could have gone hiking closer to home, but I wanted to show the Adirondacks to Clovis. I'd grown up there, and I think it's one of the greatest places to go hiking. Clovis seems to like New York. It's a little bit different. She's a little bit scared sometimes. And we're ready to go. Clovis has no idea where we're going. I think she's going to have a good time. I think she's going to like it. So we'll just, we'll just have to see. We rented a personal locator beacon since we were traveling alone, and I also had all the camera gear and a sleeping bag for Clovis. Luckily, our food was getting resupplied twice, so we wouldn't have to carry it the whole way. Heavy, huh? Clovis is on high alert. She's just been sitting and watching, looking at things. I'm just worried that if I let her off the leash, she wouldn't come back. Hey, it's Chipmunk. I really don't want you to get hurt. You could like get stabbed or something. You could fall and trip. I just let her off leash for the first time. I'm wondering if she'll come back. Clovis! Good girl! I think it's a lot more fun for her and me when she's not on the leash. I did notice she does have a cut on one of her paws. Your foot looks extra pink. I wish she would be careful, but I, I don't think she is. Careful! So, I'm gonna try putting on the booties, just to see what happens. Oh dear. It was a lot less stressful when I just let Clovis be herself. Besides, we had a lot of hiking to do. Hi. How's it going? If the trail was like this the whole way, you could do a lot more than 10 miles in a day, and it'd be really easy. But the trail's not like this. There's logs to climb over and under, mud to navigate, beaver dams to go around. It's really hard. I think we should go around. And right out there in the middle of the water, you can see a trail marker. Still, all the water was a welcome change from Albuquerque. And she's also carrying um, my Snickers bars and anything that I don't care about it getting wet because she keeps lying down in all the puddles. Hot, huh? It's a hot day. This is kind of what I was worried about. This bridge has no bottom. Um, so I'm gonna leave my pack and walk Clovis across. I got you, I got you. I got you. Good girl, let's go. Good girl, Clovis! You're doing awesome! First time you've ever heard a loon? You give me that. Clovis will not stop playing. Good dog. 
doggy. So the question is, is this a tired dog or a lazy dog? It's one tired Clovis. It's always so incredible to me because she's so tired at night. But then by morning, she's fine again. Hold on. Oh, that's a lot. I know, I'm slow. I'm coming. I'm really impressed by how well she's stopping to wait for me. Good girl. Even though I appreciated Clovis's company, I was still frustrated she barked so much. It's okay. Clovis has been freaking out because there's a guy walking in the same direction as us. Clovis, stop barking! Just as it was better to stop worrying about the leash, I had to stop caring about Clovis's barking. Some people said this was really hard to follow, but with a dog I think it's a lot easier. She seems to know where to go. Clovis is kind of a boring camp companion because pretty much all she does when she gets to the campsite is lie around. Well, it looks like now I've successfully tired her out. Hey, Clovis, what are you doing? Clovis is already in the tent. She put herself to bed. It's 7.30. Are you tired? Do you vote for just staying here today? I spent a lot of time worrying about what would happen if Clovis got hurt, or what Clovis would do if I got hurt. No, come back around. Come this way. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Be careful. Clovis, what happened? Did you eat a frog? Did you try to eat a frog? So this is our last morning on the trail and we've got eight miles to go and we'll be done. We're sad that we're almost done, but I think we're both ready for the comforts of civilization. Did you have a good time? So we are approaching the finish. You can see the parking lot. We made it! We made it! Woohoo! Clovis has no idea why this is momentous, but it is. You just hiked 120 miles. I had never spent so much time with just Clovis before. It was pretty interesting. We were a good backpacking team. I was happy I had a chance to share my favorite wilderness with my southwestern city dog, and Clovis helped me appreciate the little pleasures of backpacking. We may not have climbed Everest, but this hike was a big accomplishment and adventure for us.